Hi guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios. Well, I am uh, going to create a tutorial here for Xcart 5, and it's about affecting stuff in the product grid layout. Okay, so we have a great question from a very respected person from the forum that is uh, quite comfortable with Xcart 4 and trying to make the transition to Xcart 5. So I thought this would be a great tutorial. It's a very simple request. Uh, how to edit the product grid. Uh, it used to be products underscore t dot tpl. I'd like to add our price before the price, and then the market price after the price. So here's the website in question, and we have uh, the price here, and I believe that what, what uh, the request is, is to add the words our price before the price, and then after the price, put market price and the price of the, uh, the normal price of the product. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and enable the market price module. That's really a, a cute thing because it's the first module that Tony ever showed us how to make. And uh, now it's available for free in all the XCART 515 uh, installations. So here we go. So I've enabled the module and we see no change yet. Uh, this is the MacBook Pro 15 inch. That's the product I want to work with. So we're going to check in the admin and see if that product has a uh, market price assigned. Okay, it does not. So we're just going to set a market price for this that's higher than our price and update the product. And we'll go back here and just check to see how the display is normally. And it does not make any change on the uh, product list here in the featured products, but it does make a change here on the um, actual product page. So I guess now I really understand the question is how do we get that market price to show right here in the list of products. Now remember, I'm just winging this. I don't have this prepared. I haven't already accomplished this yet. So you're going to get to see you know, all the mistakes that I make and maybe how I would arrive at this conclusion. Tony could probably take care of this in two shakes of a tiger's tail, but uh, it's going to take me a little bit to figure it out. And that should help uh, anybody else that's learning how to figure out these kind of uh, questions. So since I fully don't uh, remember every piece of every class and uh, template in XCART 5 yet, I'm sure I will one day, I'm going to go ahead and use the Webmaster Kit, which I've already enabled. So all we have to do is go to the Settings and turn the Profile Enabled and Mark Templates. So you might need to install or enable the Webmaster Kit uh, to be able to do this. Okay, so let's go back to the front end and we'll refresh we should get the enable tracing or disable tracing thing up here in the corner. So we'll just hover over the part that we're interested in. And I'm going to click on it so it stays still. So we can see that this default in common price underscore parts slash price dot tpl is the template. And the class that drives it is this xlight view price. Okay. And then we can look down below. There's the list that it's assigned to product.plane underscore price and we've got the price plane dot tpl that might be a good place to make our change and we've got this common dot product price dot tpl and that's uh, featured products is, is driving that class or calling that class okay and then we have list items list dot product grid that customer that info that may be the list that we end up working with okay so this is pretty good and we'll just uh, we'll start you know investigating those sections to see what we need to change now one of the tools that Tony turned me on to that I found absolutely invaluable for working with uh, XCart 515 is Sublime Text 2 um, and you know it's it's a pay uh, solution you know but it's kind of just nagware so you don't actually have to buy it if you don't want to but I think it's a good idea to go ahead and purchase it uh, but what it has is is this ability to add a project uh, add a folder to a project other text editors have this as well uh, this one just seems to be so much better than than most uh, and it's just perfect uh, for what we need to do so I'm actually adding in my local host the uh, the whole folder uh, of XCart 515, which is the, the folder that I'm working in. And that just lets me flip through all these different uh, sections and find the, uh, the templates in question and the, the classes in question really easily. So normally I would build a, a module, or I would have a module set up that was like the custom module, uh, custom modifications for the client site. But in this case, I'm going to try the uh, custom skin out 
because I think that that might be a good opportunity to learn it. I have not yet worked with custom skin, and I'm kind of excited about uh, seeing how that works. So hopefully this is the right path, and we'll see how it goes. So I think the first place I'm going to look is common.product-price.tpl. I know that this one is above here, but I think that this is might be where I would want to put the our price label uh, in front of the, the price for this list. I'm just guessing again. So I am going to go into skins and then default in and I believe it was items list product probably parts and then I have a common oh I need to look back at that again oh common dot product price dot I believe this is it so just to test this this is not how you would normally do it I'm just going to, to our price and save it and I want to mention uh, that I have developer mode on, or at least I need to check to see if developer mode is on, because if it is, then I will not have to rebuild cache in order to uh, see changes. So we're just going to check in here. And yeah, developer mode is on. So I've gone to etc. config.php and just told it here on line 149 that developer mode is on. So that's great. Okay, so I've just put our price in there, and we'll just see how that shows up on the front. This is not where I'm going to change it in the in the end, but this is where I'm going to test to see if this is the right place to, to change it. Okay, so let's refresh. And I get our price right here. So, um, you know, that looks like a fine place to change it. I don't know what else that might affect, so I'm just going to take a look in here at the 15 inch. Um, yeah, it doesn't do it here, which is, I think, what we want. We just want to affect this in this list. So this is probably a good place to change that. Obviously, it needs to be styled with some CSS uh, to be down here. I'm not going to cover that, probably. Okay, so I'm going to Control-Z my changes here in this template so that it's just the way it was when I started, and save it. And now I'm going to go to uh, Default EN, and I'm using the Custom Skin module for this. So I'm going to go to Modules. No, sorry, that's wrong. I need to. I just checked with Tony's uh, tutorial. Uh, we go to custom skin. That's uh, the custom skin folder is created by the custom skin module, and then we go to default in inside there, and then we need to create a new folder. So under en, I'm going to create a new folder, and it's going to be items list. Uh, product parts common no that's it that's the folder okay so now inside the items list product parts we'll create a new file before I do that I'm just gonna uh, just copy all this and we'll just create a new file and we'll call it common oh, let me save it common dot product dash price dot tpl okay and I'm just gonna paste all those contents in before like we had before and now I'm going to use a uh, variable here that is going to give us the um, the ability for this label to be changed by the uh, languages section so I'm just putting our price and then I'll put the colon outside of that because I don't think that'll be translated. And we have now created common.productprice.tpl in our custom skin. And this is the format that you would use to, um, to do that with. I think you want a space here. Okay. So I'm going to refresh the page. I don't think we'll see any change. Oh, we do. We've got a problem. <laughs> I think it's a formatting error. So I'm going to search and see if I've used the correct uh, format format for that text. Oh, I know I need a pound symbol after it. Okay, no problem. We'll just come over here and we'll put a pound symbol. I believe that's what's causing that error we see. So let's go back and refresh and see if that fixes that. And it did. And there's our price. And I believe you can now change this to uh, the the change this through the languages section and, and the admin. 
Okay, so I'm going to enable tracing and just check to see where this, uh, let me get this right. Sometimes it's hard to get the right uh, thing highlighted. Okay, yeah, and I see it's coming from custom skin now. There's that uh, template we just created. Okay, so we've, we've handled putting the hour price in front of the uh, price. So now we move on to the next section of our tutorial, and we need to put the market price and that price, uh, so the label market price and then also the price of the market price, uh, behind the R price and the price. So we're just going to go in and take a look at the actual uh, product page. And I'm going to enable tracing. And I'm going to look down here and see if I can figure out which... Um, okay, that's easy. We found this default EN module CDEV market price details market price TPL. And that's again being called by the class XLight view price, which makes me believe that we can call it on the, uh, the other page with no problem. So I'm going to go and look for that template. So we're going to go into um, skins, default EN, modules, CDEV, and then market price, details, market price TPL. Okay. And in here we see that there is this uh, text variable market price and then some spans and then this format price product that get market price. So that should be calling the actual price. And I'm just going to highlight all of that and copy it. Then I'm going to come over here to common.productprice.tpl and I'm just going to paste it in here. I'm pretty sure that this will only affect the place that we want it to affect. And uh, I'm going to save it. Okay. And we're going to come back here and go back to the home page and see how that behaved. And it did exactly what we needed. So there we have it. We have our price, the price, the market price, and uh, that price. So uh, I also want to check in the category. I've already opened this up and inside the category page as well. So anywhere that there's a products list, uh, this change should be showing up. I'm not certain if it'll show up in other places. I don't see it anywhere. So, so far so good. Okay. Well, I hope that helps. I hope that's been short and to the point and shown you how to, you know, discover, investigate these kind of changes and then make the changes. Uh, and uh, help you transition from XCart 4 to XCart 5. All right, Mike White signing off, wishing you good luck in all your e-commerce efforts. Thanks and have a great day.